I always say that the best way of inspiring people is by being more than telling. In general, what we are doing is we are pushing against planetary boundaries. In other words, we are sort of looking for more resources than the planet really has to give us. In the worst case scenario, it will lead to a regulation of the population size. It, it will lead to the loss of habitability. Eventually, then also will lead to the loss of life. I think it's important to recognize you get many, many definitions of what sustainability is and ways to define it. I think about sustainability in terms of two big questions. One is how do man and nature thrive together indefinitely into the future? And the other is how do human beings find meaning in living in a sustainable way with nature? I think people think of the triple bottom line when they think of sustainability. For me, it's more personal. I have two children and it's the world we're going to leave them. Sustainability is of course the science of thinking about where have we come from and where is the planet going. And that includes the natural systems, the biological, the chemical systems, but also and importantly, the human domain. Nature works the way that it does because it's got 3.8 million years of research and development that has gone into it. We've come along very quickly and have developed our own rules that unfortunately don't take into account all the unintended consequences and the connections that nature has and that natural law provides. Sustainability is about recognizing those connections, that everything is connected, and we as humans are connected. We can't have a sustainable society if we have tremendous inequity. We embed sustainability into every big decision we make. I work directly for the CFO, and with that comes some great responsibility in that we're balancing sustainability with our economic decisions. So we're role modeling this effort, not only for other universities and higher ed institutions, but also for our local cities and governments. When we look at the economic analysis, a lot of times it's less expensive to build something that is going to emit carbon emissions. We take a long-term view as we build buildings and we're trying to, we put a, a price on carbon. If you invest a little bit now, it'll pay back later. So it does actually make economic sense and it certainly supports our efforts of sustainability. So we're looking at a carbon neutral building policy. So our baseline year for most of our goals is 2007. And since 2007, we've reduced our energy usage per student by essentially half. In addition, we've cut our energy use per square foot of building space by half. We have a sustainable food goal called Food Reconnection, and we already have an example on campus of uh, called Ingrained. It's a restaurant that's run as a sustainable food system. Additionally, we're in the process of retrofitting 2,000 plumbing fixtures across uh, 90 buildings in order to save water in advance of a drought contingency plan that the state is developing because we've been in a drought for 17 years. We have a price on carbon for air travel, so every flight that anybody associated with ASU takes, there is an $8 fee that's charged to that, and we use that for carbon offset projects such as tree plantings. We are the largest deployer of solar panels in terms of generating the electricity needs, the energy needs for the university. We have over 90 installations across our various campuses and more than half of our electricity energy needs are essentially derived through this deployment of solar panels. The challenges that are, first of all, recognition that sustainability is an important thing that we need to pursue as humanity. And then once the recognition is there, then how do you go about doing it is something that we need to figure out, right? And that is not just one or two entities. 
everybody has a role to play in this. I think we can manage all of these challenges, but it's going to take imagination. We have to imagine ourselves transforming the energy system. We have to imagine ourselves dealing with inequality. And then we can find solutions. The problem with too much of sustainability has done in the past is simply ask the question about how do we sustain nature? And that's important. We, we absolutely have to sustain natural systems. Extinction is not a good thing. But we can't uh, ignore the fact that human beings have a right to live well. You can't say to a group of people, I'm sorry, but you don't get to live well because it'll get in the way of us living well and preserving natural capital. You just can't do that. A sustainability has made a huge impact on ASU. The way we think, the way we act, the way we configure and reconfigure ourselves. New ideas come in, new tools, new discoveries, and we want to make sure that we are at the cutting edge of including all of these new developments into our work and into our activities. So when you bring all of that, it has made a huge impact in the institution as much as the institution is hoping to have an impact in the community.